Hey guys, it's Elena with Bear in Mind Planner Company back again with another tutorial. This time I took a question from uh, YouTube and somebody asked me, how do I make my sticker sheets? And I'm assuming she wanted me to explain how I make my sticker sheets and how do I get them on Etsy, uh, presentable, looking nice and sellable. So that's what I wanted to go over today. First off, I want to say sorry it's been so long since I've been here uh, or uploaded a video. I've been uh, taking care of my family. Uh, all of us are staying home and being safe. So, uh, you know, I've also been learning how to become a fifth grade teacher, which I have learned something about myself. I am not a fifth grade teacher. So, I'm going to stick with. Uh, what I know and I know planners and I know stickers so <laughs> let's go and have some fun today and so here in Procreate I was creating a sticker pack to go with a functional sticker pack that I made uh, about a week ago and I had done the functional stickers in a couple different color sets and so now I'm going back and making hand-drawn items to go with those sticker packs and so here uh, I used a, a purple, blue, and a green color combination. And so that's what I went with here. And so you can see some of them that I drew and they are ready to go. This is 3000 by 3000 pixels and it's 300 DPI. Um, and so that's what I like to work with when I'm on Procreate. Uh, that way I draw these images and know it doesn't take up the entire space, but I know that when I export this, it's going to be a nice, beautiful, crisp sticker that won't be pixelated when somebody moves it over. So I'm going to jump over to my GoodNotes app, and that's where I'm going to begin. In my Etsy shop, I offer two styles or two sets of files. One is a GoodNotes compressed file that they can bring into their GoodNotes app directly. And the second one is a pre-cropped PNG file of each item. Um, so that way if they're not using GoodNotes, they can still use these in any of their uh, digital planners. So this is a set that I've created. And so here I have two pages. So everything that I'm gonna show you today for this set, I just doubled. Um, and so I will show you tips and tricks how to bring everything in super quick and easy and also how to uh, crop everything, okay? First off, I usually end up with a sticker book similar to this one, and I will just add to it as I go along. I will show you just quickly, open up a new notebook, and uh, you can uh, note cover, uh, use a blank paper, you can uh, switch that to portrait or landscape, whichever you prefer. And as far as template size, you can pick any size you want. I'm gonna just choose a good note standard for now and hit create. So here we go. You can see that I have my page here and I am going to slide up and open Procreate. And I'm gonna use my uh, layers panel over here. And all I'm going to do is uh, do a long hold, drag and drop, and then you can crop your image. And do that over and over again until you have all of your images over into GoodNotes. Okay, so now I have all of my images over here into GoodNotes and I've cropped them and they are ready now for me to uh, select the images using this image tool and select, uh, tap it again and it will come up with your options of crop or share. So I'm gonna hit share. I save all of my images to uh, my uh, iCloud drive. These, this is a time where uh, you can save these to whatever you prefer. You can also save them to Dropbox. Um, you can 
uh, also save a, or you can email them to yourself I know that some people do that this is just what I prefer I have Apple products now um, so everything shares really easily uh, between the cloud so I'm gonna save each one of these files individually and uh, so I'm gonna save it here under illustration set its uh, name is gonna be PN, uh, PNG image because it's coming out of the GoodNotes app. And every time you do that, it's going to, uh, so when I jump over here and I go to share this and uh, save to files, it's gonna say the same name, PNG image, um, exactly where I wanna say it, save it. Uh, right here it'll say, do you wanna replace it or keep both? And that's because they're the same name. So I'm just going to continuously hit keep both. And then when I jump over to my desktop is when I will rename everything just to uh, keep things a little simple for me right now. So that's what I'm gonna do is uh, save all of my images. Okay, now I have finished saving all of these images and they are over in my, uh, or in the cloud. And before I leave my iPad, there are a couple more things I wanna do. Uh, I want to export this page um, as an image because I'm going to use this image from the app as my mock-up photo uh, in my Etsy store. So I'm going to share the image and I'm also going to save that to my files as well. And then one more thing, I'm gonna export this page, but this time I'm going to export it as a GoodNotes file. Um, this is going to compress the file into a zipped file for GoodNotes that somebody will be able to then download and bring into their GoodNotes app directly. So now I am, let's see here, let's share this over here. and save to files, there you go. Now what I've done is everything is now in my cloud. I have saved everything and it will be, uh, I'll be jumping over to my desktop. Uh, I have my PNG individual files that are pre-cropped and now I also have my GoodNotes file. So when people come over here, they can, or once they download it, um, they'll, uh, import it into their GoodNotes app, they can lasso it, um, copy, and uh, paste it into their planner. So, super simple. So let's jump on over to the uh, desktop. Okay, so I'm over here at my desktop now, and uh, these are all of my images that were pre-cropped. Um, I can even pull this up and you can see that it's cropped. Um, <clears throat> I've also got my uh, GoodNotes file here and then what you can do is hold shift from the first down to the last one that you want and then I come over here and it says compress 14 items and then you'd click that and it'll allow you to have a zip file which is this right here. I renamed it uh, the BIM hydrangea illustration zip file now, one thing I do want you guys to pay attention to is how large your files end up being because Etsy only allows uh, 20 megabytes uh, per file. So this one here, it came close to 17, or I'm sorry, 19.7. And uh, same with this one here with the GoodNotes file, that is 15.5. So I am able to download both of those if I was, if I went over, say on this zip file that has all the ind individual PNGs, what I would do is I would break this up into two zip files instead of just one. Um, that way you stay under that uh, 20. And so now I'm going to uh, use this image that I also shared to myself, which is uh, the image from GoodNotes, and I'm going to use this in a mock-up. Uh, now I'm going to jump over to my Photoshop and create a mock-up, and uh, then I'm going to upload everything, uh, these two files, to Etsy, and I'll show you the end result in just a 
few minutes. It shouldn't take me too long now that we've got all the, the heavy work done. Okay, so here we are over at my Bear in Mind Planner Company Etsy store. And uh, here is my finished product. Uh, as you can see, I have my hand-drawn illustrations and I also have my agenda or calendar stickers. Um, and this is the mock-up photo that I originally took from my GoodNotes app, which is exactly what my customers will be downloading as well. And I do the same with uh, this sticker set too. Now, when you uh, come down, you can see it. You're going, to, you're going to receive two zipped files and two GoodNotes files. I always like to tell uh, everybody what they're going to be getting. And so there you have it from start to finish. <laughs> okay, I hope I was able to show you some tips and tricks and uh, a little inside uh, on how I create my sticker sets and packs. Um, as well as uh, just finding out a little behind the scenes. Okay, you guys, well, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also hit that bell notification so you'll be notified when new and upcoming videos come out. And I will talk to you guys again soon. Bye.